on stage two. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Secondhand Cringe. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 facts about Barbie that will ruin your childhood. Number 10. She's not from Malibu. We know, we're shocked too. Growing up, there's nothing we wanted more than Barbie's Malibu dream house and all the accessories that came with it. With her enviable tan, long blonde hair, and sweet smile, Barbie was made for riding the waves in a sunny beach city. However, her fair complexion, minus the tan, might be more indicative of her real hometown. This doll actually hails from the fictional town of Willows in Wisconsin. It was only in 1971 that Barbie moved to Malibu with a new look that was more reflective of the times. Number 9. Do blondes really have more fun? Barbie's long blonde hair has become a defining feature of this iconic toy. However, when she was first sold in 1959, customers had a choice between a fair-haired or brunette doll. Both wore zebra print swimwear for their world debut and first profession as teen models. However, there was a considerable sway toward the blonde option. So Mattel presumably followed demand, and brunette Barbie became nothing but a distant memory. Luckily, Mattel eventually realized that representation matters and started branching out in many respects, including hair color, skin tone, and body size. Number 8. A Controversial Collection of Dolls Life in plastic might be fantastic, but even Barbie hasn't managed to evade controversy. Over the years, we've seen some ill-thought-out ideas appear on toy shelves only to be quickly removed following public outcry. For instance, who okayed the Sports Illustrated swimsuit Barbie? He's hot. Barbie's hot. She takes instructions almost silently. Why does Slumber Party Barbie need scales and a book on how to lose weight? And how about Teen Talk Barbie? More like Sexist Talk Barbie. Also, we still can't believe someone actually approved this. Just a lot of bad stuff all around. Number 7. The Earring Magic Ken Commotion Speaking of dolls that faced backlash, in 1993, Mattel released a new Ken doll as part of their Earring Magic collection. He now had blonde highlights, wore a purple mesh top and vest, and accessorized with a ring pendant necklace and an earring in his left ear. Some wondered if Mattel was outing Barbie's on-again, off-again boyfriend. However, it was his necklace that invited the biggest uproar. Some thought it represented a ring you might place in a more intimate location. Mattel refuted these ridiculous claims, saying they're, quote, not in the business of introducing those kinds of accessories to their young audience. Number 6. Barbie's Rebound from Down Under While we're on the topic of Barbie's bow, on Valentine's Day 2004, Mattel announced that this power couple had called it quits. Ken and Barbie are going to go their separate ways. Soon after, the blonde bombshell was reportedly spotted with an Australian surfer named Blaine. At first, Blaine was super popular, even beating out Ken in an online popularity poll on the Barbie website. However, after almost two years, Mattel's new It couple split. In 2006, Ken received a makeover, and he and Barbie got back together. Number 5. Barbie Goes to Court You might have heard the name Ruth Handler in association with Barbie. Indeed. She's the creative mind behind this iconic doll, and co-founder of Mattel. However, you might not have heard of Jack Ryan, the missile designer who helped bring her vision to life. The pair was embroiled in a bitter battle over who deserved credit for the famous toy and her name. Ryan claimed he'd been shortchanged on royalties by almost $24 million and sued Mattel. After nearly a decade, Ryan won $10 million supposedly in an out-of-court settlement. These were far from the only controversies caused by the creators. Number 4. Even Barbie's an influencer Mattel has repeatedly come under fire for designing a doll with unrealistic measurements. Studies have even shown that she would be considered dangerously underweight in real life. However, that hasn't stopped some people from undergoing various procedures to look just like her. Sure, Barbie's often considered a role model, but couldn't we take inspiration from her countless careers rather than her unattainable body design? Some of the results are freaky and nightmarish. If you think that's bad, an overzealous Barbie fan by the name of Blondie Bennett took things to a whole other level by going under hypnotherapy to become more airheaded like the doll. Number 3. I Spy Barbie in 2015, to keep up with the tech-savvy age, Mattel released an interactive talking doll called Hello Barbie. She used voice recognition to chat with kids and could be connected to Wi-Fi so parents could monitor conversations via an app. Of course, Mattel was also keeping tabs on their users, raising concerns about privacy. That's cool! Another doll from 2010 called Video Girl Barbie featured a camera cleverly disguised as a necklace and a small monitor on Barbie's back. 
Both dolls sound like the premise for a sci-fi movie about an AI doll uprising. Number 2. Barbie and Ken's Real-Life Inspiration since 1961, Barbie and Ken have been the universal it couple, yet you might not find them quite as cute once you learn about their real-life counterparts. Handler decided to immortalize her beloved children as these soon-to-be famous dolls. Barbie got her name from Handler's daughter Barbara, while Ken was named after her son, Kenneth. Sure, on the one hand, it's super sweet that she chose to honor her children in this way. However, it also begs the question, why on earth would you then make Barbie and Ken a couple? Why not keep them as brother and sister? It's so weird and disturbing, and it makes us see our childhood in a whole new light. Number 1. Barbie's Risqué Origin Story one story behind this groundbreaking toy suggests that the creator was moved to invent a 3D fashion doll after watching her daughter play with paper dolls. Another story explains how she took inspiration from the audacious German Lily doll. Until then, dolls taught girls to be caregivers, but Lily was fashionable, bold, and scandalous. She was based on a sassy cartoon called Build Lily known to seduce rich men. Lily was marketed to adults and typically given to men as a gag gift at bachelor parties and things like that. Who knew Barbie's origin story had such a wild side? 